Hi guys, today we are going to show you some tips and tricks in Google search. As you know, nowadays most of the people use Google in their everyday life. Now Google has plenty of tricks which will improve your search to get the best and fast results. So in this video, we are going to show you the top 10 Google search tips and tricks where you will be able to search things easily which makes your work quick and also increases your productivity. So make sure you watch this video till the end to learn how to do it. Okay, now this video is not sponsored, but it is supported by those of you guys who have purchased our courses and our ready-made website templates in MakeAWP. We built this platform where anyone can launch their dream website in just one click. You can learn more about it by clicking the links in the description. Okay, I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's get started. Now we are going to see the top 10 tips on Google search. Let's have a look at them one by one. First, let's see how you can view the recently uploaded content on the internet. Now, let's say you search for some topic on the internet and you get all these websites based on your search. Now, how do you find the latest content for the topic we searched? First, let's open a new tab and search for the topic you want. I'm going to search for offers available on Domino's. And we have got all these websites based on our search. Now, to view the latest content, click Tools, then click here and select the time period you want to view. Or you can search using a custom date range by clicking here. I'm going to select for past 24 hours. Now this is the content uploaded to Google in the past 24 hours. So this is how you can view the recently uploaded content on the internet. Okay, next, let's say you want to search something on YouTube. To do that, open a new tab, then go to YouTube and search for the topic you want. Now, this is taking a lot of time, right? So instead of this, what if you want to add a shortcut for YouTube on Google like this, so that when you type and search for anything you want, it will directly take you to YouTube. How can we do that? So next, let's go to the second tip where we see how you can add a shortcut for YouTube in the address bar. To add it, click here. Now click settings. And it will take you to this page. Now click search engine. Then click Manage Search Engines. Then here, click Add. And you will get this pop-up. Now here you need to enter the name of the website you want to add. As I want to add YouTube as a shortcut, I am going to enter that. And then enter the shortcut. So I am going to enter Y. So when you type Y, it will directly take you to YouTube. Here, you need to enter the YouTube link. Now to make the shortcut work, you need to enter the short code here. To get the short code, just go to the video you're watching right now. Copy this code. Then go back. And paste it here. Once you're done, click add. So now we've added the shortcut for YouTube. Now let's see how this works. Open a tab. And type the shortcut for YouTube we entered before. I'm going to enter Y. And press the space bar. Then enter the topic you want to search. Press enter. And you can see that it directly takes us to YouTube. Okay, now in the same way, you can create shortcuts for any other websites you want. So instead of this YouTube link, you can add the link of any other website. So this is how you can add a shortcut to your address bar. Okay, next, let's say you search some topic on Google. You get all these sites. And you open a website on this page. Now if you want to open another website, you will have to go back to the search result and then open a site. Instead of this, what if you want to view the website on the Google search page simultaneously like this? So next, let's go to the third tip where we see how you can add a search result page on the sidebar like this. To add the sidebar, you need to enable the sidebar option on Chrome. So let's open a new tab. Type Chrome single colon slash slash flags and then press enter and it will take you to this page. Now here, search for site search and enable these two options. Once you've enabled them, click relaunch and now the site search will be added. To check that, let's open a new tab and search for any topic you want and then open any site. Okay. Now if you want to open any other website, just click here and you can see that we have got the search result page in the sidebar. 
Now you will also be able to search and view multiple websites on the same tab instead of opening multiple tabs. Okay, next let's go to the fourth tip where we see how you can search for a specific file type on Google. Let's say you're searching for a particular file type on the internet. It can be any file like a PDF, MP3, APK, etc. Now there's an easy way to find the file type you want. I'll show you an example. Let's say you want to find a PDF for any topic. All you need to do is enter the topic you want to search and then type file type single colon and then enter the type of file you want. Now as we want a PDF file, I'm going to enter PDF and then press enter. We'll get the results and if you open any page, you can see that we're directly taken to the PDF file. In the same way, you can search for any file type you want. Just enter the topic name and type file type single colon and then enter the file type you want. Okay, next let's go to the fifth tip where we see how to find similar sites. Now let's say you want to find websites similar to ebay.com. To do that, let's open a new tab and type related single colon ebay.com. Now press enter and here you can see that we have got different websites similar to ebay. So this is how you can find similar sites. Okay, now let's say you're browsing a website and you want to search for a specific word on that website. How can we do that? So next, let's go to the sixth tip where we see how to search for a specific word while browsing. Let's open the site in which you want to find a specific word. Now press Ctrl plus F and here enter the word that you want to find. I'm going to enter design. Now here you can see that the word we searched for is being highlighted. You can click here to see all the times this word appears on this website. This is how you can find specific words on the website. Okay, next, let's see you have an image and you want to find images similar to this image. How can we do that? So let's go to the seventh tip where we see how to find related images in Google. To find it, type images.google.com and press enter and it will take you to Google images. Now here you need to upload the image from your computer for which you want to find similar images. So to upload the image, click here, click upload file. Now select the image you want and click open. And as you can see, we have got many images related to our image. Okay, next let's see the eighth tip which is to find any product within a specific price range. So to find it, let's go to our browser. Now let's say you want to find headphones in a specific price range. All you need to do is enter the product name which is headphones. Now next to the product name, we need to enter the price range. So let's say you're looking for something between $200 to $1000. You need to enter the range like $200 dot dot $1000. Now if you click enter and click on shopping, you can see that we have got different products at the specific price range we searched for. Okay, next let's see the ninth tip which is how to use Google Lens. Google Lens is a tool which is specifically built for finding the images you want. It can analyze specific objects in your image and then provide you with related images. Interesting right? So let's see how to use it. To do that, first let's go to our browser and search for the image you want. Now if you right click on the image, you can see that we have an option to search images with Google Lens. So let's click that and it will take you to this page. And now the image is being viewed under Google Lens. Here you can see that there are many things in this image. Let's say you want to search for headphone images as similar to this image. So just click on the headphone on the image. And as you can see, we have got different headphone images. This is how Google Lens works. In the same way, you can find any images you want through Google Lens. Okay, now you can also search for images based on size. So next, let's see the final tip which is to search images by size. Open a new tab and enter the image you want to search. I'm going to search for hiking and then type image size single colon next to it and enter the image size you want. I'm going to enter that and press enter. Now select any image you want. And if you go here, you can see that we have got the image size we entered. In the same way, 
you can find images in any size you want. Okay, so that's it guys. Now you know some exciting Google search tips and tricks. And if you want to know some exciting Gmail tips and tricks, you can watch this video. Also make sure you click the subscribe button to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.